Welcome to your weekly UAS news update, and we have three stories for you this week. The FA reauthorization is, well, getting there. There's a new DJI Mini 4K out of nowhere. And then lastly, Robinson Helicopters is going to purchase Ascent Aero Systems. Let's talk about it. First up this week is Congress appears to close on the FAA Reauthorization Act. Uh, the document is over a thousand pages, which includes uh, topics on BV loss, beyond visual line of sight drone operation, uh, fine increases for consumer violations, and then also legislation over near collisions, quality control for large aircraft manufacturers, and then FAA staffing. Now, Congress now will need to vote on the bill in favor before it heads to the president's desk for signature. Uh, during this time, we need to stay up to date on possible regulation going through Congress that may be lumped into the bill. The Drone Advocacy Alliance, the DAA, has a new campaign that opposes a section of the FAA Reauthorization Act that would prohibit the DOT, Department of Transportation, from using any money for drones made in China, along with the expected to be introduced Drone for First Responder Act. We talked about this last week. Now check out the link to the DAA below to make your voices heard. This is actually extremely important and we'll keep you updated when we hear more. Probably next week there will be a big update on this along with uh, other regulation that has been proposed in the past uh, regarding DJI drone bands. So please, please stay posted. We'll have more information next week. Next up this week, something that kind of came out of nowhere is the DJI Mini 4K. Uh, to be clear, it's a Mini 2 4K. Uh, the drone is currently available for sale on DJI's uh, Amazon website, and then, uh, but no mention of it on the DJI's official website. The Mini 4K supports recording up to 4K at 30 frames per second, 2.7K at 60 frames per second. Other specs remain pretty much similar to the old Mini 2 series, a 31 minute flight time, three axis gimbal, uh, smart features like the quick shot and panoramic shot and RTH. Uh, it comes at 299, which is quite frankly, a great deal. Now granted it's a Mini 2, which we have the Mini 4 now, right? Uh, but at 299, if anybody wants to start a drone, this is probably a great way to go. And then the Fly More Combo is available for $449 with extra batteries. This offers a more cost-effective option for those that are looking for a 4K drone as compared to the Mini 3 at $419 with the drone and the controller and then $599 with the Fly More combo. So let us know what you think about this. I find this very interesting that DJI has transformed this Mini 2 platform so many times now. They came up with the Mini 2 and I'm pretty sure they came up with the Mini 3 after that, Mini 3 Pro first after that and then went back and did a Mini 2 SE which was a simplified version and then they came up with the Mini 4, and now they're going back to the Mini 2 and doing <laughs> another modification with a 4K camera. So I don't know if they have a ton of these frames that are just sitting around and they're trying to figure out what to do with it, but let us know in the comment what you think about this. And last up, a Robinson Helicopter has acquired Ascent Aero Systems. Now, if you're not familiar with Ascent, they make the Spirit Drone, which is a coaxial tube-like looking drone that uh, primarily is used by the military and then some other industries. The Spirit has a max takeoff weight of 13.5 pounds, an IP56 rating, and a maximum flight time with a payload of 38 minutes. Uh, Ascent also makes the NX30, which is a 15 pound payload, 65 minute endurance uh, drone with uh, 35 mile range. Robinson CEO David Smith hopes to ramp up the production of Ascent's drone to hundreds a month. Uh, we'll keep you posted if we hear more from Robinson and Ascent, but this is, uh, I think, an interesting news coming from a helicopter manufacturer to get into the drone space. All right, and that's it. That's all we have for you this week. I will see you tonight if you're watching this on Friday. In the community, we have our happy hour at uh, 4 p.m. Pacific. No live event on Monday. We will be traveling to Utah for a recording of a course. Uh, we'll see you the following week. Who's calling me? I need to stop eating nuts right before I record at 449 grams. Dollars. <laughs> Let me do that again.